I'm Trudy. I'm John. And we are the owners and operators of Gray Stem Farm, a specialty cut flower and lavender farm. And this <laughs> is one of our guest stars, farm Libby. <laughs> Libby. <laughs> um, this is our very first video documenting our journey now as an official flower farm, which will be operational and ready to go beginning January 1st, 2021. This is going to be our very first season out there actually selling. Last year we grew flowers to um, see what grows in our area, what we could produce enough of to make bouquets for sale, and see how it went. And now we're ready to go, go forth. So we've got some work to do today, and we're going to be working in the lavender field, filling in some patches um, with gravel and lavender plants that we were holding off until we got some stumps ground. And John took care of that this fall. It's been a lot of work. We ground about 40 stumps. We timbered this place a few years back, uh, and some of the stumps were 48 inches or so across. <laughs> they left huge oaks, oaks <laughs> huge stumps in the way, and they were terrible. When I was trying to bush hog everything, everything was getting in the way. So I've spent the last two years cleaning up, um, cleaning up the property, cleaning up all the um, all the dead limbs that they leave. I had three huge piles. That and I had we'll, to burn. we'll insert a little bit of drone footage to show you the overview of what it looked like the middle of last summer, to show how much that we've, how far we've come in the past year. Yeah. And here's the promised drone footage from 2019. I apologize in advance for the choppiness. We were still learning how to use it. The big brush pile you see there is about 30 by maybe 60 feet. 60 to 80 in that range, probably closer to 80. Yeah, those were the tops of the trees um, that had been timbered. And this whole area you see here is where we're putting the lavender fields. The big sandy area is another pile that we ended up burning. And John's reminding me, there's a little groundhog. You'll see an arrow down there. He was running off from the, uh, the drone. But yeah, this whole area is about two to three acres. And it's where our flower fields and lavender fields are going to be. And as we pan to the right, that's the area we'll be working today. There's not a single lavender plant there. And now there's almost four rows. That's it. Back to the introduction. It's been a lot of work. It's been fun. And uh, that's about all I've, I got. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get out in the lavender field and finish putting in the, uh, we bought a small load of gravel to finish the rows where the stumps were and get those last lavender plants done. And spring coming forward, we're going to have about, I can't remember if it was four or 600 more lavender plants. So we're rocking on. <laughs> Thanks right. for joining us. If you like the content here, we're mainly documenting this for our own record and our own edification to see how far we've come and, and how our first year goes. But if you like the content and you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button and notifications so you know when we post a new video. And we're going to try and get it done, what, twice a week or we're as we try. make changes? <laughs> as we get a chance. <laughs> we um, have full-time jobs off the farm, yeah. too. This is, as I said, this is going to be our first year. But we're hoping within, what, two to four years going full-time. Okay. Yeah. So follow Be along nice. and see how we do if we meet our goals. Here's where we had the stumps and the gap that we had to allow for the stump. So now that we've removed the stumps out and had them ground down, we're going to fill this area in with gravel and add the plants that we've been holding to put in these locations. Same thing with this row. There's a gap there. And then on our trial section here, we only did little mounds, so we're going to make that an actual row with gravel in between and add more gravel to it and extend it out to where it ends over there.
gently supporting the plants and putting my fingers through there when I turn it over so that I'm not pulling it out by the plant. And I gently tickle the roots apart. white specks in the soil as well that's all perlite which keeps the soil loose and open. Clay is not good for lavender which is why we couldn't grow it in the past. But this method's been working. some pieces of wood into that big burn pile to burn a stump out. Here's the work we did today. Finished adding gravel, completing the rows here for the lavender. And they're a little wonky, but they're rows. And then this spring, we'll be planting 400 more, or 600, I have to check my order, lavender plants. And more rows all the way down. In this area as well, we'll have rows of lavender. And where you see those stakes, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, on the video here, with the pink flags, those are going to be flower rows in the spring. And there's Piggy Piggy, 